This year is all about celebrating Frederick Douglass's 200th birthday here in Rochester, and community leaders are now teaming up with a local sculptor using her talents to showcase the abolitionist in a very creative, very visible way. Emily Noonan reports. If you've been to Highland Park, there's a good chance you've seen this statue of Frederick Douglass. Soon, we'll be seeing a lot more of Douglass around Rochester. Frederick Douglass's ideas, the things he believed in, are needed now more than ever. Project director Carvin Eisen says they will be placing statues at sites significant to Douglass's life in Rochester. Re-energize the legacy of Frederick Douglass by taking his ideas, his oration, his uh, thinking, his his uh, writing, all of his activism off that monument in Highland Park and bringing it down into the streets of Rochester, New York. And I actually want to bring you into the basement of the Hungerfield building to show you the statues and the woman who's making them come to life. I went up there and I took about 80 measurements. Sculptor Olivia Kim is putting her last minute touches on the more than six foot tall Frederick Douglass statues. She's reached out to the descendant of Douglass, his great 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 grandson, Ken Morris Jr. Ken has uh, remarkable similarities to Frederick Douglass, particularly um, in his bone structure, in his jawline. So I sculpted him first in clay um, and then afterwards created the rest of the sculpture using the measurements from the monument and um, many photographs of the monument. Each statue will have QR codes that will tell us the story of why the statue is at that particular location. Emily Noonan, News 8. Wow, those look great. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing those out on the streets. Speaking of, three of the statues will be unveiled tomorrow during a ceremony at the Hochstein School of Music and Dance at 10 a.m. The rest are scheduled to be finished by the end of the summer. These statues will remain there for the next three years.